What is up, YouTube? Good again here, back at another My League simulation, and today it is a trio, as I'm sure you've seen by the title, by the thumbnail. It is the Ball Brothers all on one team. Before the video starts, though, you guys know what to do. Like always, make sure to drop a like, smash that like button for me if you are new and you like the content. Make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. Drop a comment down below what other sims you'd like to see. Other duos, other trios, old trios, old duos like like Mike and, and Pippin in today's NBA, whatever it may be. Uh, I had another thought in mind as well uh, of a, a, a duo that I'd like to do. But you'll have to wait and see what duo I'm talking about that will come out soon as well. But honestly, because I did the LaMelo Ball Minnesota Timberwolves rebuild, if you guys haven't seen that, go check that out. But because I did that, because I saw Nate Robinson go to the the ball estate lavar ball's house on youtube and then then them talking about uh you know the, the dream is for all three of them to be on a team to be playing together once again why not do that in a simulation i'm gonna keep them on the same team throughout their entire careers i've already given them six-year contracts like obviously i gave them uh bigger contracts as well so it's not too unrealistic i even traded for lonzo ball obviously now though it's all on the hornets to do whatever they can to build a good team around them they'll obviously have them for their entirety of their careers but transaction report just in case you guys want to see it i traded batum Devonte, graham cody martin caleb martin a 20 uh 24 first round pick for Alonzo. why did i pick the uh hornets because i feel like the players on here if i traded them away it wouldn't it, uh, create such an imbalance to other teams uh that it would mess up the nba they're rebuilding why not rebuild with the ball brothers obviously they have a lot of work to do. LaMelo might start right away in front of Malik Monk. Uh, Leangelo is going to need some work for sure. I'm not going to send him to the G League, but I will give him like untapped potential, stuff like that. Same thing with, with Lonzo. Same thing with LaMelo. We're going to try to improve them as much as possible, and we're going to see what kind of success they bring to a team all together, throwing it back to the Chino Hill days. And I'm probably also going to run a seven, uh, seven seconds or less proficiency. A lot of quick turnarounds, a lot of quick offense is what we're going for. But now we go all the way to training camps, see how many training camps I have, and then see what the starting lineup is looking like for the Hornets because it, I'm almost positive they're about to get another lottery pick. Here is what Coach James Borrego is running. He's running a 10-man rotation. I'm not going to mess with anything of that. I'm not going to mess with anything now. This is all up to them. All I'm, all I'm making sure is that they stay together and eventually start together. Which I'm sure will happen. I'm going to try to improve Leangelo as much as I possibly can because right now he's not even cracking the 10-man rotation. But it looks like they made some moves. They signed Danilo Gallinari. They signed Fred Van Vliet. They need a better center, and they'll be set. They'll be set. Lonzo at the one, Lamelo at the two, Leangelo at the three. Right now, Lamelo is not starting over Malik Monk. He is getting the eighth spot, and then the eleventh spot goes to Leangelo. I'm sure he'll improve a little bit more than Jalen, uh, a little bit more than James Ennis. So eventually, eventually, he will be uh, getting solid minutes and hopefully uh, starting soon. But the good thing is we're keeping them on the same squad for for their entirety of their career. So technically, this is also a Lamelo Ball simulation if, if they all make the hall of fame imagine that wow lavar ball would be going nuts if they win a championship together he'd be going nuts anyways put him on the hornets year number one of the ball brothers simulation let's get it first season of the ball brothers together they did not play obviously as starters together lavar ball would be going crazy saying that's the reason you're 22 and 60 you already know he would be trey young is the mvp Rookie of the Year, Wiseman. Dennis Schroeder, sixth man. Defensive player goes to uh, Kawhi Leonard, most improved John Morant, and Brett Brown, coach of the year. Obviously not making the playoffs with that kind of record. Did Leangelo get any minutes? So Danilo Gallinari, their big signing, I guess, in the offseason. 20-point score always has been a solid, solid score. Lamelo, 16. Is that off the bench, or did he eventually start? My goodness, how many minutes did you get? Of course, he makes an all-rookie first team with those numbers. He has to. Like, are you kidding me? 27.8. So, it looks like he may, may... I don't know. I don't think he started. Maybe he did take Malik Monk's spot. Because Malik Monk only got 22.9 minutes a game. Second leading scorer, LaMelo already. Where is Alonzo? He's getting 9.4 and 8.9 assists. He's probably going to get that solid double-double action going. Uh, Van Vliet off the bench. Leangelo, he does not look like he got any minutes. We know he's not the better ball brother. 
uh we're just gonna go along with his simulation because eventually he's gonna get into the 80s i know he's gonna get into the 80s he'll start for us most likely or start for the hornets since i'm just simulating i'm not really doing any type of changes for them just bes besides keeping them here and that seven seconds or less proficiency the bucks are the nba champions Giannis gets his finals mvp 57 percent from the field now just simply see how much they improve vince carter finally retires oh he, he took a zach randolph actually got on a team kind of kind of early for Melo because Melo, i anytime i rebuild he's still uh, he's still out here he's still out here balling on a bench somewhere lonzo goes a whole five over okay so i gave untapped potential to lonzo and i gave untapped potential to liangelo i did it uh, because we only had two training camps uh i don't think Lamelo needs the untapped potential he's probably already at an a plus yeah they're all at a pluses i think is liangelo at an a plus where's my boy he's at a b it says he's at a b i'll give him untapped potential again why not we got to focus on liangelo but he goes up four overall they drafted terrence clark with the sixth overall pick but yeah huge huge improvement huge improvement from the bros uh pj washington needs to continue to improve hopefully they retain him uh miles bridges i don't really care he could be gone because I, I need all the ball brothers to start here it is lonzo lamello already starting together this might be a playoff team with them all being 80s you're gonna have some offense some pretty solid offense at that they got biombo back on the hornets pj washington off the bench as a nice bench piece malik monk a nice bench piece fred van vliet they got a solid solid bench still a 10-man rotation still not getting minutes for who why is he in the reserve spot i don't even want him there I don't want him in the reserve spot. He's at least going to be our 11th man. Terrence Clark comes in and gets minutes right away. And Leangelo does not. 74 overall. We're going to make sure. We're going to make sure he continues to improve. Only four badges right now for LaMelo. I don't know if he's going to get a lot more. I mean, he should. Uh, technically, 23 badges. 14 in playmaking and 9 in defensive and rebounding. 0 in finishing. 0 in shooting. All right. First team all rookie. Second team all rookie. That's all the awards we have so far for those ball brothers. Nothing for Leangelo. He has it. I don't even know if he's gotten a minute in the NBA. Maybe he has. I mean, uh, he'd still be a rookie. That would be dope. So then he comes in. He makes an all rookie team. Year two of the ball brother simulation i can't wait till we get uh i i, I kind of want to simulate until they're all starting or until they're all getting very very significant minutes especially the angela we need him we need him to improve a lot better than 22 wins up to 37 they are improving we ca i can't wait i can't wait luka Doncic is the mvp with a triple double a monster triple double Cade cunningham rookie of the year brandon clark sixth man defensive player goes to anthony davis most improved rj hampton rick carlisle coach of the year Lamelo now the leading scorer of the team. Malik Monk is balling out off the bench. Okay, okay. Lonzo getting 12 and 10.7, so he's getting his double-digit assists already. And we'll see where they finish. I want them to be in the Hall of Fame. Lamelo and Lonzo obviously have that better chance because we're missing out on Leangelo not playing right now. The man needs to get better. I did give him an untapped potential, but 20 points, 5 assists for uh, Lamelo, and then Lonzo getting 12 and 10. They'll get all-star teams eventually. Um, no playoffs, obviously. Now to see who wins this a second-year championship. The Pelicans win it. Zion Williamson, 59% from the field, 39% from three, 25 and 10 with 2.2 blocks against the Nets. We'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually with these ball bros. Lonzo's up to an 89 overall. LaMelo goes up to an 85 overall. So three overall, four overall there. And then let's see, where's Leangelo? Where's Leangelo? Do not trade my man. He goes up one. I gave him an untapped potential. How do you only go up one? I'm going to give him another untapped potential. We're going to keep moving forward. They signed Horford. Did they sign Horford to trade for Horford? That, either way, that's a yikes of a contract. Still not cracking the 10-man rotation. You got to be kidding me. It's time. It's time. I'm sorry. Leangelo, you're going to the Greensboro. Okay, you're going to the G League, brother. He's going to come back. I need him to at least get better than Miles Bridges. He's at an 82 overall. If we could catch Miles Bridges, that's the goal right now. And get them to all start together. Now, this team is getting better. I need them to, I, there's going to be two balls in the, <laughs> there's definitely going to be two ball brothers in the Hall of Fame. I'm guessing Lonzo and LaMelo, of course. Uh, Leangelo's got to come in and, and absolutely destroy. 
he's not making it i'm sorry we wasted already two years and those are some crucial years but this is definitely looking like a playoff team for now like a 90 overall a mid 85 overall guy that's just scoring out of his mind pj washington's nice miles bridges is solid danilo off the bench now let's see let's see let's see maybe the 10 man rotation is hurting them here three luca Doncic is the mvp with the even more monstrous 12 rebounds so a better a better triple double and money bates rookie of the year six man goes to, to tyrese anthony davis defensive player still most improved austin uh brett brown still coach of the year these six seed now so they finally make the playoffs obviously without leangelo right right now lamello ball all-star team no all-star team okay lonzo ball all-star team let's go second team all defense as well 11.1 assists 15.5 points almost two steals a game his bro needs to make it though and obviously leangelo in the g league man oh <laughs> is that how it's gonna be i guess that's kind of realistic he did sign with like the oklahoma g league team or something like that and right when he was about to play i think the whole corona thing hit but let's see what they do up against cleveland first ball appearance as uh uh playoffs i'm gonna see if they get past the first round they might be able to they do not Giannis another championship with the wait who was he with <laughs> wait 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 he's with the Suns. ayton antetokounmpo booker wow 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 we okay Lonzo now a 90 overall Lamelo getting close as well he's improving a little bit more than uh Lonzo at the moment so he's probably gonna catch up and probably be better eventually where is our boy that we sent to the there we go there we go he's a 79 overall he's getting minutes for sure he's getting minutes for sure he's not better than Miles Bridges yet but he might he might eventually get there. Yo, I didn't do this. This is the coach's suggestion. We have a new coach, Steve Clifford. But here they are. Lonzo, LaMelo, LiAngelo, all starting together year uh, four. It took a season of G League experience for LiAngelo. Uh, does he even have any badges right now? What is he looking like? What is he looking like? He's got three in shooting. Okay, that makes sense. He's a shooter. Nine total badges for our boy LaMelo. 23 total badges for Lonzo. Here we go, baby. What's the team looking like? They got Miles off the bench. Danilo Gallinari off the bench. Terrence Clark. And a 79 George Hill. The team looks kind of spicy. Looks kind of nice. 290s. A mid 80 and PJ. First time with them starting. We'll see what the offense finishes like. I'll see the numbers and all that. I'm pretty sure we finished with a better record last season. Uh the Ball Brother experiment. 41 and 41 in their first season starting together. Luca still an MVP, still averaging a triple double. Jim Gregory, rookie of the year. Tyree, six man, defensive player Giannis, Cole Anthony, most improved, and Sydney Low, 64 and 18. Oh no, first season, we do not even make the playoffs together after making, was it the sixth seed, I think? I think Miles might have taken his position back as a starter. Whoa, no. Wait, I should have checked during, before the, the, the trade deadline. I think they traded him away. For who? They traded him for Jarek Culver. Oh, wait, did they? Or did they just sign Jared Culver? I think they might have just signed Jared Culver. Who did they trade him for? Okay, okay. We're going to make sure we get him back. We're going to make sure we get him back. That's why they didn't make the playoffs. Clearly. Clearly. Absolute destruction by Luka Doncic. Jesus Christ. Anyways, we're getting our boy back. What is that? Back at it again. Now, for, hopefully a full season of starting a 91 ball, a 91 LaMelo, an 81 LiAngelo. Um, BJ Washington is still here. Chet Holmgren is still here. Mc Miles Bridges is still here. Um, please, please leave the team how it is. Obviously, I want them to do other trades if they want to do other trades. So I'm not like, I'm not going to stop them from doing trades. It's just don't trade the ball brothers gonna change it to what coach likes to do in pace and space we'll let him do his thing uh it's similar obviously not as fast but here we go fifth year i believe in charlotte now so we'll see hopefully now it, he he scored 10 points four rebounds three assists so it's not like he was doing bad in 22.8 minutes his per 36 would be absolutely just super solid super solid as that third option so we'll see what happens now simulating full season do not trade them away. I signed them all to long contracts, or at least I went into their players. I edited them, and I gave them contracts that seemed kind of realistic. Obviously, gave a lot of money to Lonzo, gave a lot of money to LaMelo, and then like a mid-contract for LiAngelo. All right, guys. I just simulated that entire season and skipped it again because they traded LiAngelo again. Again. I'm going to make sure before the trade deadline that he's still on the freaking team because they keep doing my man's dirty he's a shooter you could tell he's freaking efficient as hell and uh now he's the seventh man though unfortunately somehow they i don't know how they ended up 
being able to pay Jaron Jackson. Because Lonzo, like I said, I gave him a contract. I gave LaMelo a contract. They paid Miles. Anyway, seventh man in Leangelo. He actually went down in the offseason from an 81 to an 80. I am mad. I am mad. We need to just hurry up. Uh, and and I got to make sure. I'm, I'm going to make sure I do not go to the end. I'm going to go to the halfway mark to the trade deadline and see where Leangelo's at. Because holy crap. Like I said, they're doing the man's dirty. Believe it or not, they did it again. They traded him to Toronto when? I don't know, but he was putting up 8.4 points. Uh, efficient shooting in 21.8 minutes. He's back, though. <laughs> He's back and for the remainder and he will be here for the playoffs as well It looks like they signed Holmes maybe for he's probably out of free agency and they gave him that Yeah, he didn't find a team signed a cheap contract with us three seasons in a row They traded him this man Luca has not like he hasn't stopped winning MVP Literally five MVPs in a row for Luka Doncic. Paulo Costa wins co- I was going to say coach of the year. Rookie of the year. Six man Markel. Anthony Davis defensive player. Most improved Horace Nelson. And coach of the year Monty Williams. 57 wins. Fourth seed just like last season. But this time we got LiAngelo on the freaking team. That's got to be an all-star. Okay. 26.7 assists. Terrence Clark off the bench is scoring 17. Okay. So he's got back to back. All-star, wait, 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 2026? That means 2025 he made it, but this year he didn't? What? Oh, he scored 28 last season, but then this season he didn't make the all-star team. Lonzo does make it, 13 assists a game. Leangelo putting up 7-3-3 three, and three off the bench as probably like an 8th man or ninth man, which is honestly really, really great. We should continue to make uh, the playoffs, so honestly, I'm going to go simulate with SimCast in this one, maybe get some highlights, see what's going on. Get more minutes to Leangelo, that's what I'm talking talking about we are just watching here who is in who is in just one ball brother right now why just lonzo still just lonzo what's he gonna do out here oh oh okay lonzo good little look nice vision but still it's just him in here and i don't think i'm gonna see anybody else we're not he's three minutes left we'll see y'all really got michael carter williams in they got Michael Carter Williams in instead of anybody on the bench. Anybody. Leangelo. Lamello. I don't know what ball brother that is, but he's got 25 points. I don't know if that's Lonzo with 25 points. I don't know if that's Lamello. I doubt it's Leangelo, but you never know. They have been giving him more minutes in these playoffs. Like, put him in. I don't think they need to. There's a minute left, but put him in. Lonzo, the player of the game, he's the one with 25 points. Okay. Um... No, no, Leandro, no, no, Lamelo out here playing. Uh, maybe it's their defensive liability. They don't put them out here. Either way, it's a close game. Thirty seconds left, though. Uh, I'll just see you guys into the uh, third round, the conference finals now, because I don't think they're coming in. Holy crap, Lonzo put up twenty-five points and twenty assists in that game. Lamelo put up sixteen, seven, and six, and then did Leangelo play? He put up four rebounds and four assists. All right, then. Philly has most definitely revamped their team. They have Sabonis. Uh, they have Brown Jr. at their small forward. Uh, shooting guard, uh, something Christopher. And then, obviously, they have Embiid and Simmons still. Do we get to the finals? Do the Ball brothers win a championship together in their careers? Whoa. How does, why does all of a sudden we're losing? And then, bam, we win. Okay, we took one. Ruined their home court advantage. Uh, that's all you could ask for win one of the two at their home and now and now protect home court Oh god, what did I just do simulate with simcast? They give less minutes to Leangelo more to Terrence Clark less to Holmes. No, no, it's whatever. Let's just simulate Yes, 2-1 two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Are we going to the finals? Are we going to the finals? The finals is when I'll simulate. I mean, I'll show some gameplay again, please. Okay. Yes 3-1 three, 3-1 one. Three, one. Take it to the finals, baby. One third. We're, we're in. We're in. We're into the finals. We're up against San Antonio or Phoenix. Phoenix. Oh, shoot. They have they have the Greek freak. Ball brothers all together into the finals. Playing their first finals to get. Oh, no, 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 no. We're at home, too. We're at home, meaning we finished with a better record. We lost that first one, but it looks like they made some adjustments. And, and we're back. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Just go. Oh, please, 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 please. They did it to us. They did it to us. We were winning like the entire game and out of nowhere, they were well, okay. This is a crucial one. We cannot go down 3-1. It looks like they understood that. Oh, so holy crap. 2-2. Two, two. Give more minutes to Leangelo, less to Holmes. You know what? 
you know what? Maybe y'all should be doing that in the first place. Why do I have to do it? We are back at home. Oh no. Booker's 24 points. <sighs> They're up 3 2. They're up 3 2. Simulate with Simcast. Give less minutes to Holmes, but then who do I give the minutes to? Let's just run it. Let's just run it. No, oh, no, please. Please. Okay, we got it. 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 Wonder why does that keep happening? Hornets roll over. Ball stars. Which ball, bro? We got three of them. Lamelo. Lamelo comes in the clutch. Scores 26 for us. Lonzo with 21 and 14 assists. Leangelo with 12 in 17 minutes. So 12, 3, and 3. That's some good production. A game seven for the Ball Brothers. I just don't want it to be a blowout so we could. <laughs> How? How? What? Oh. You allow 43. It's over, boys. There's no coming back from this. We won the away games. We won Okay, we beat them that quarter. But are y'all really expecting to come back from a deficit that large? It's over. It's over. Seven games against... Uh, oh, Devin Booker wins the finals MVP. Not even Giannis. Okay, okay. We'll be back. We'll be back. We have to be. Um, Leangelo is going to fall out of the rotation. Whoever made this Leangelo ball, they probably made his peak really, really short. And now he's declining and he's only 27 years old. Okay. Whew. This is going to be just the two ball brothers, the two top ball brothers. I mean, I guess that's kind of realistic. Leangelo might come into the league, have a season or two of just decent production off somebody's bench. Maybe just maybe he does that. He doesn't fall out the rotation just yet. He's still getting 12 minutes, but I'm just going to continue to keep simulating. Make sure they stay on the team and to just continue, continue uh, uh, to see what they can accomplish. See if at least two of them make the Hall of Fame. I think they should if they continue racking up accolades, but it might be a little bit too late because he's already 29. Obviously, LaMelo seems more likely to, but he's not getting the All-Star games and stuff like that, which is bad. It's bad. I got to make sure their contracts are long enough for me to not accidentally just uh, let them walk somewhere. But Leangelo's getting worse already. He's 27. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I'm going to continue to simulate. If one of them wins a major award, I'll let you guys up. Uh, I'll, I'll get you guys up to date. But right now, I'm just going to make sure that they stick together. Just a quick update. Leangelo Ball, um, he's just kept getting worse. Uh, even these seasons where it says that we kept him on the team, he was traded away and I'd had to go get him back. Um, it was obnoxious every single season. Every single season since he got decent, since he became a decent player, he was traded away and I had to go get him back. I had to go get him back. Even this season, that season, finally last season he got traded away and I'm like, you know what? Sure, I could put him on the untouchables list, but since I have no say in trades and stuff i figured that was gonna be changed anyways by the computer or whatever so i just let him go he'll retire eventually he's not getting any minutes anywhere he wasn't getting minutes here oh so he played he got a solid nine-year career um obviously no major awards or anything like that he's still a is decent shooter if i miss his his retirement there you guys have that uh but obviously we still are gonna keep Lamelo and Lonzo. I guess that is how it, maybe it would work out in the NBA. Like I was saying, Leangelo gets a couple of seasons in the league, his prime years, and then he just falls off. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, I still don't know if Leangelo will eventually make the league. But Lamelo and uh, Lonzo have been absolutely balling out. They've been absolutely balling out. He's a five-time All-Star now, uh, first team All-NBA in 2028. And then same thing with Lonzo. Lonzo's got six All-Star appearances, two third-team All-NBAs, two second-team All-NBAs and a uh, all rookie team of course so those i think that could be enough especially with the averages that he's been putting up in assists if you guys look at this he averaged 14 assists in one of the seasons 14 assists this is insane now all i need is a ring from them i need a ring from them they got some accolades of course they could stack them up a little bit more but i need a ring back into the finals obviously with only two ball brothers but that's more than enough uh i don't know what this team has they're the number one seed they kind of destroyed the sixth seed they went seven games against the fifth seed so we will see they got a 99 an 89 tyler hero a 96 they got a 78 there's a weak spot there running carries a 90 87 off the bench 86 off the bench and an 84 okay that's kind of deadly and we'll see what happens uh i'm still gonna go join even if it's an elimination game for us i'm gonna go join and see some um see some gameplay see some gameplay from the ball brothers 
because I want to see them both on the court. I'd love to see all three of them on the court, but Leangelo was only good for a couple seasons. We just got destroyed 140 to 104. That was... They got to they gotta turn it around somehow. They got to turn it around somehow. They had the lead pretty much the entire game, and then we let up 47 points, and it looks like uh, no championship for the Ball Bros. No championship for the Ball Bros, but... Why do they allow so many points? Okay, I'm jumping in now. Play game, jump in. To save themselves from an embarrassment of a 4-0. Here we are. Are they even in? They are. Yes, Lonzo's in. Lonzo's in and LaMelo on the bench. Why do they always have my man on the bench? Lonzo with only five points, but 12 assists. He just hit a crucial step back right there uh, to take the lead in the fourth. So a little clutch, but at the same time, only having five points right now. That's a yikes. Tyler Hero with a big three. Uh, is LaMelo ever going to come back in? That is why LaMelo's not in. He's fouled out. I can't, I can't. What kind of luck is that? I just want to see him play together. They're down six points with six minutes left. So I don't know. I'm just going to simulate to the end. If they get swept, they get swept. It's just, it's just no fun not seeing the Ball Brothers out there. Nice little bucket. They obviously still stand a chance. I'm going to quit and I'm going to sim to the end and see and see if they got swept that they, they get swept we do get swept i don't know if we'll make it back here um i don't know when they're gonna retire obviously lonzo's already 35 lonzo is down to an 89 overall i think i'm gonna simulate just until the end of their careers uh obviously i gotta see if lonzo obviously lonzo's gonna retire first his assists are insane i don't know if he's gonna uh, does he beat stockton and then lamello still has a few more a little bit more seasons to go jaron jackson now starts to decline quite a bit too uh, home green home home Gren is at a 94 overall the bench is okay i'm sure they'll find somebody in free agency that just didn't get a contract that's a high overall that'll join the team so still hopes that they can get a championship a smaller chance now but time to simulate see how both of them finish i'm expecting both of them to make the hall of fame here we are with the first i guess probably second i didn't pay attention to liangelo um clearly didn't have the stats to make the hall of fame he constantly got traded he never got the uh, amazing minutes but i think honestly that made it a little bit more realistic for this simulation i didn't want him to be some type of superstar because i don't think he'd ever be some type of superstar we don't even know if he'll ever make the league but lonzo finally retires after 18 seasons even in his last season he got 10 assists a game 10 assists a game obviously he went down to 9.3 the season before that but he 10 and 10 unbelievable unbelievable we'll look at his accolades really quickly eight time all-star two time third team all nba two time second team all defense and then a second team all rookie team and then based off his stats he should be in the hall of fame he should be in the hall of fame based off his stats there he is 12.6, 10.9 assists a game, 1.6 steals per game as well. And now we look at his records, total points. I don't know if he'd ever be on here. Obviously, he played a lot. LaMelo's already 16th, and he still has a few seasons left. I did not see him there, but what I'm really interested in, um, he might be on the three-point list, and then obviously I'm more interested. Uh, LaMelo's third already. He's probably going to go ahead. Um, LeBron James Jr. is probably still in here playing. But Lonzo's 32nd all-time in three-pointers made. I just want to know the assist numbers. Did he... Or did he not? He did beat John Stockton. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. And that's why he's a Hall of Famer. Now we just continue to simulate until LaMelo. Until LaMelo retires. LaMelo retires at the age of 38, 18 years pro. Is that the same thing as Lonzo did? I don't remember. But it's been a couple seasons. He's declined quite a bit. He's still scoring a bit. He's still scoring a bit. 13, 16, 18. I think Alonzo retired here in 35, 36. So 2020 to 2039, 19 years pro. Accolades 12 time All Star compared to his brother, who was an eight time All Star. One time first team All NBA, one time second team All NBA, one time third team All NBA, and then first team All Rookie. So his brother had a bit more uh, NBA teams, like defensive teams and All NBA, but more All Star games for LaMelo Ball. Zero championships for all of them, of course. They made two finals, but that's it. Hall of Fame inductees, you, have, of course, he's going to be there he's one of the top scorers ever lamello 23.4 uh points 3.9 rebounds 6.4 assists 1.1 steals as his averages lamello finishes with being the 11th highest scorer ever to play the game with 36,000 points luca's number luca had an absolute this whatever <laughs> he won like a million mvps as well but it is about the ball brothers he, he finished 11th field goals made he made uh, if he finished 24th three pointers made uh, he is second he is second three at uh, uh at all time three pointers and lamello's top uh, he's 24th in assist as well 24th and he wasn't the main distributor ever 
it was his brother who's at number one i just want to check his career highs as well he scored 63 in a game uh he made 13 three-pointers in one game free throws 22 rebounds 15 assists 17 in the game steals five blocks one and minutes played 50 but there you guys have it the ball brother simulation i tried to keep them all on the same team for some reason charlotte kept trying to trade away liangelo when he got decent he, they automatically just let him go they traded him year at literally every year but two hall of fame ball brothers you can't you can't you can't have it all not three hall of fame ball brothers two if you have any suggestions of duos or trios uh, that you would like to see simulated and me keep them on the same team for for the entirety of the career let me know but make sure to drop a like and if you're new to the channel please make sure to subscribe to non post notifications but as always guys thanks for watching